So I saw this headline on CBC. Toyota warns 7,300 Canadians to stop driving, get immediate repairs. And then right below, company reissues warning from 2015. And I thought, damn, this recall is almost 10 years old and they're still trying to track the owners down? Must be pretty serious. So I read the rest of the article and it turns out this was all part of the largest automotive recall in human history because the airbags installed in 100 million vehicles around the world didn't always save lives. They could actually kill the driver. They're time bombs made by Takata, a company so greedy it willfully put profits above human safety. There were all kinds of investigations, criminal charges, lawsuits, and the company that made the airbags, Takata, filed for bankruptcy in 2017. It owed millions of dollars to victims. And those big car companies that used those airbags, they were trying to recover billions of dollars more. Not to mention, they were putting out urgent warnings like the one Toyota just sent out, telling the thousands of people who may still be driving these death traps, please don't. Let me explain. So here's a video from the U.S. Department of Transportation showing the inflator of a Takata airbag. Now, when I first saw this, I actually thought it was regular speed, but it's actually super slow motion. You can tell from the wiring on the right how it's slowly disconnecting from the inflator. So this thing is supposed to blow up the airbag by pumping it full of nitrogen. If you watch this video from the slow-mo guys, you can see how it's supposed to work. It's just a chemical reaction. There's a spark, nitrogen rushes into the bag, which then slowly vents from these giant holes. So it starts deflating right away. But some chemical reactions are safer than others. A very common one that you'll find in airbags today is sodium azide, which is one sodium, three nitrogen. But the Takata inflators used ammonium nitrate, which if I remember my high school chemistry, uh, there we go. Ammonium nitrate, which can make fertilizer or it can make bombs. A massive car bomb exploded outside of a large federal building in downtown Oklahoma City, shattering that building, killing children, killing federal employees, military men. The Oklahoma City bombing, the IRA bombings in the 90s, they all used ammonium nitrate. So back to the Takata airbag. The problem was that over time, ammonium nitrate would degrade and become more unstable. So millions of people were effectively driving around with mini bombs in their steering wheels. This video from 60 Minutes Australia five years ago is probably the best illustration of what this actually looks like in an almost real life situation. Five, four, three, but instead of inflating, it explodes. Looks like it failed catastrophically. Shards of metal tear a hole in the middle of the airbag. And explosions like that led to situations like this. The faulty Takata airbag responsible for yet another death. The latest victim, a man from Lancaster County. There are all kinds of gruesome photos of people out there who had these jagged shards of metal rip into their faces. We've blurred them out because nobody needs to see that, but you get the idea. Hundreds of people have been injured worldwide and more than 30 have died. So Toyota is reissuing pretty much the same warning it has been for years now a do not drive advisory for some of its 20 year old cars. Due to the age of the vehicles, if the airbag deploys, a part inside is more likely to explode and shoot sharp metal fragments, which could cause serious injury or death to the driver or passengers. Yeah, this isn't just a driver problem, it's a passenger problem in some vehicles too. In 2003, 2004, Corollas and Matrixes, it's a passenger side problem. In 2004-2005 RAV4s, it's a driver's side problem. And to be clear, this isn't just a Toyota problem. Globally, there were 100 million cars with Takata airbags affecting Honda, Nissan, Chrysler, BMW, Mazda, Ford, GM, Subaru, Mitsubishi. The list goes on. 
Toyota figures there are 50,000 of these specific Corollas, Matrixes, and RAV4s still out there in the US. In Canada, the estimate is around 7,300. And car companies have been trying to get these off the road for years. An important safety message from Nissan. Takata, a manufacturer of airbags, has discovered defects in some of their products. The problem isn't with the airbag, it's with the airbag inflator. Because the inflator can rupture, shooting shrapnel through the airbag, which can cause serious injury or even death. Bottom line, if you want to check to see if your car is affected, easiest way is to check your VIN number and look it up on your manufacturer's recall website. And if you are one of the unlucky few who get caught up in this thing, the expert advice is not to drive it to the dealership. Like, don't drive it at all. The car can be towed, or the dealership might be able to bring their repairs to the car rather than the other way around. Safety first.